The energy of this November is one that really supports your power to choose. To choose how you show up, to choose how you are in any given situation. Essentially, to be able to choose who you are. My name is Prune Harris and I'm an energy expert. I've been able to see energy since I was born. And each month I watch as a different vibrational hue comes into being and how that vibration really begins to move through your entire body system as well as all around it and how your energy changes to meet that cosmic monthly energy. So this month, November, it is a beautiful energy. It's empowering. Of course, you know that energy vibration shows up as different colors. So the color blue is a different vibration than the color that we see as orange, for example. So the vibration of this month is really unique. Actually, I've never seen anything like it because it's multi-colored. Usually there's there's a very distinct hue to the vibration that's around us, but not this month. The best way I can describe it to you visually is the color that you get at that dawn just before sunrise. So there's mergings of pinks, of oranges, of soft blues. It's absolutely exquisite. Now, if you remember back to October, it was a much more intense. It really closed in that amazing greeny, yellowy color that came and closed in on everybody. And I hope you had a beautiful October, but I suspect that there were real pinch points in there for you. Not this month. This month, gives you the ability to move much more in awareness, to be able to witness, observe, notice how you are in any given moment and realize that you have choice into how you choose to be. Really subtle, beautiful empowerment. Now, I've written about this in my blog on my website, pruneharris.com. So you can go there and please do read about it. It's such a subtle and empowering energy. I want you to be able to really understand it. Now, in this video, I want to lead you through a short sequence of how you can really align your energy fields so that this beautiful, empowering energy can really be absorbed and integrated so that you get the most out of this beautiful month. So we're going to be working to help support certain energy parts of your system and I'll explain what we're doing as we're going through. We're especially going to be concentrating in the abdominal area because the way this specific vibration is going to be affecting your energy body is really going to settle and work with how much flow, how much balance can be brought into this abdominal area. And there's lots of reasons for that, but of course one of the primary ones is that your abdominal area is the big connector between everything that is below your feet and the lower half of your body and everything that is above your head and the upper part of your body. When there are things, old patterns, old ways of being, energetic blockages in this abdominal area, you become a lot less of who you are, of who you can be. So that's where we're going to be concentrating. First, I would love you to stretch. I want you to bring space into the sides of the abdomen, even the back. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe first, let's actually just bring our hands over our chest. Take a centering breath. Don't change it. Don't force anything. Just bring your awareness to your breath, whether you're sitting, standing or lying down. All is perfect for these sequences. <sighs> you can think of this as just a calling your energy back to your center, coming home to yourself. 
One more breath here. Now, I'm going to take one hand up over the head, stretch your arm and just bring it naturally, gently, don't force anything so that you can bring that beautiful stretch to your side body. And just slowly, gracefully, easily doing the same. This should feel delicious. Don't do anything that doesn't feel great here. Invite that stretch in. Let's do the other side again. Ah, lifting up out of the hip bone as you do so, opening all of that area. All right, lovely. So we're going to be working in this abdominal area, the, the whole width and breadth of it. So first we want to open space here. So let's do a sweeping from, maybe you can start with your hands on the spine. Let's pop your left hand on your spine and your right hand on the left waist. And you're just going to sweep over from the center of your back over to your right hip. And you can do that right down low on the abdominal area, through the middle and all the way up as well. Now you're going to do the other side. So the right hand on the spine, left hand on the right waist, and just drag that over. It can be a beautiful way to aid your digestion, aid your groundedness. Ah, let you settle deeper into your energy body. Great. All right, good. So we're gonna be working up the midline. With one hand, doesn't matter which one, you're going to be working through points on the midline. And with the other hand, let's take both hands to the spine in line with the waist and just pop your fingers so that they meet together on that beautiful, powerful point. This point, the Chinese call the Mingmen. And for a minute, just pulse gently into that point. No pressure here. I'm just pulsing my fingers onto the spine gently and then lifting them away. Just waking up this point. It's an amazing energetic point that brings, I'm gonna turn so that I can face you, but continue with that gentle pulsing here. If you're lying down, maybe you wanna turn to lie on your side so that you can easily do this. This point is amazing for activating energy into the lower dantian area, which is right in the center of the lower abdominal area. And that dantian area, that amazing powerhouse, is what fuels all of your physical energy and actually gives you the basis to be able to understand, witness, observe, and change the shape of the energy of your emotions. That's a really powerful, this Mingman point, and you can see I'm just continuing to gently pulse it. This Mingman point really enhances your ability to access your awareness, your mindfulness, your consciousness. All right. So now that we've woken it up a little bit, you're gonna keep one hand just with your fingers on that point. I'm gonna use my left hand, you use it whichever one feels good to you. And with the other one, you're gonna bunch your fingers and thumb together and just bring them down onto the pubic bone in the very, very middle of your body. And here, just relax. All of these holes are quite deep holes. Here we're connecting into that first chakra, the lowest, deepest, most resonant energy in your body system. You're simply holding that point that correlates to the first chakra with the Mingman point. 
breathing, this first chakra really holding the keys, the balance, the potential for your deep groundedness and not just electromagnetically and in your own body but groundedness into your ancestral field, groundedness into your life, groundedness into your sense of belonging. So you're connecting the beautiful energy, the nurturing, the inspiring and empowering energy of the Mingman into being able to be deeply received by that first chakra. Relax your shoulders. If at any point it gets sore on your shoulders or your hand to be in that Mingman point, then my suggestion to you is just to turn your hand over. It doesn't matter if it's the back of your fingers or the front of your fingers here. For some of you, it'll feel much easier in your elbow and your shoulders for you to have your the back of your hand on that Mingman instead of the front. So just breathing. Maybe you can take your thoughts to that sense of belonging in your own life. The energy this month is going to invite space so you can think more clearly in creative ways and that includes thinking about some of those places problems, places of challenge, places of your energy, of your thoughts that keep you somehow further away from who you really are. All right, you're going to keep that hand on the Mingman on the back and bring your hand from the pubic bone still in the midline to just a couple of centimeters, an inch or so below the belly button. Here we're connecting not only into that beautiful lower Dantian area, but also into the second chakra, place of creativity, of deep watery wisdom in your body system. It's a beautiful vibration that is not dissimilar to the energy and vibration of this month. It holds a lot of that hope of the pre-dawn sunrise, the inspiration, kind of the enlightenment that can occur through your system. Think of a time that you have literally lit up with joy. That's the energy that you're tapping into here and supporting by holding the Mingman. So you can take your awareness to experiencing joy, the deep joy, the joy you experience when you see something special, see something beautiful. The joy you experience when you have those flashes of contentment or pride in something you've done, something you've said, something you've been. The way you acted. Each time you remember joy, you enforce it deeper into your system. It's like you help your whole wiring of your energy pick up that vibration of joy and carry it further, broader, being able to be more expansive and more easily accessed even when you're going through challenging times.
And for the last hold in this sequence, you're going to take that hand up to the solar plexus, that place just below the sternum where your ribs meet. And you're just on the abdominal area rather than the sternum itself. Here we're into that beautiful fiery third chakra. Elementally, it's interesting, we started with the root chakra, which has an earthy, thick, beautiful, deep, earthy energy. Then we went to the second chakra with its flowing, easy, graceful, watery energy. Now we're up into this third chakra with its big fire, golden, warming, and all the time we're in the Mingman, which carries that air energy carrying the wisdom of the past into the present so it can flow forward in the future as well. Recognizing that this third chakra brings up all kinds of questions and understandings around your identity, who you think you are, who you feel you are, and at the deeper levels, who you really are. This is a place for you to get curious about just how magnificent you are. In your amazing depths where your soul shines so brightly. And from this place, being open to receive gently, beautifully, all of the gifts of the cosmic vibration, the cosmic energy of this month. Can you bring that much compassion and acceptance to yourself to really deeply receive everything that can come? Okay, let's just gently rub that area. Come and just gently rub that Mingman area too. Perhaps moving from the spine just out towards the side bodies. And let's end where we started with the hands crossed over the chest. Maybe take a moment and check into how you feel right now. That sequence will certainly have grounded you deeper, settled a lot of the beautiful flow that can occur through all of that abdominal area and therefore through your whole body system. I hope you have a beautiful November in my membership video on the membership channel on YouTube. I lead you through a really deep healing ceremony that can work through your entire family tree. So it's a beautiful way of working with ancestral healing for your entire past, present and future. Much love to you. Bye-bye.